Hello, I'm Hannah. Thanks to everyone who has pre-ordered Little Birds. If you have not entered the pre-sale giveaway, you should do so now. The link's in the description because I am giving stuff away every week. And this week's winner is Anna Catalano. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. I am from the rural south. Anna's gonna get some cool stuff like a signed copy of Little Birds and some notebooks and some pens and some candles, etc. Um, since the physical copy of Little Birds isn't going to be available for a hot second, she immediately gets uh, a 2,000 word creative writing critique of whatever she has written. So Anna, email me something, hannahleekitter at gmail.com. All right, so since it's September, it is officially spooky season. Quest for the Worst is horrible horror films only from now until like probably Christmas. So tweet me your suggestions at Hannah Lee Kidder. Today we are looking at the cinematic masterpiece, Burying the X. We open on a four having a threesome with two 11s in his brother's house. So his brother Max complains about this and then voices the audience's confusion about how these women are with him. We are not body shaming here. He has a disgusting personality. Go watch the movie if you don't believe me. So Max's girlfriend comes out of the room and yells at all of them and the brother and the two girls leave. Then Max is apologizing for his brother's antics and we kind of get the vibe that he's constantly apologizing to her for things. So Max works at a spooky shop um, with like Halloween-y things happening and stuff and he seems like he's super into it. So Max and his girlfriend had sex before he left the house and then he gets to work and calls her almost immediately and asks her to come back and have sex again and she does. She keeps complaining about the environment just like throwing it into conversation whenever she can because she works for a green blogging company. She writes blogs about the environment. Every time he calls her at work and asks what she's doing that day, she's like, well, I'm blogging today. Like it's just bad improv and they don't have a script to work off of, but she blogs, guys. She's a blogger. Max's ultimate dream is to open his very own spooky shop and his girlfriend thinks this is friggin' stupid because werewolves and zombies aren't real. I don't think spook shops with costumes and weird toys exist because people think it's real. I think it's, uh, it's costumes and decorations. It's for fun. And there's definitely a market for these things. Why is, what are you talking about? Even if he believes in those things and was like, I don't know, telling fortunes for a living or something, there's still a market for that. People will pay for it. I don't, I don't understand. She just has to object to everything, I suppose. He's got a little devil figurine in the shop that's supposed to like grant wishes, right? Um, and then in front of the devil figurine, after they have sex again, um, they say that they'll always be together forever, and then his little eyes light up. Hmm, what intrigue. So his girlfriend is a vegan, but he tries to convince her to eat ice cream, and she doesn't want to because she's a vegan. They frame her as very evil because she's vegan, and like, they made a big deal about how his brother wanted eggs after he broke into his... A Someone's about to fight outside again. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's one of my friends. She's fighting with someone. It's not a friend, it's someone I know. She's fine. Yeah, she can handle that. Ooh. Guys, this is some good tea. I'm gonna have to take a take a break real quick. Mm boy. Mm boy. They are exuberant. I think they'll be okay though. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, veganism. So yeah, the brother that broke into his apartment was looking for eggs in his fridge and couldn't find any eggs and was mad about it. And it's because his girlfriend's vegan and doesn't like having them in the house, which is totally fair i he agreed to it i don't understand why he's allowed to complain about it and try to make her eat ice cream whatever he doesn't have eggs and she's terrible so the girlfriend her name's evelyn have i said i don't know evelyn ends up screaming at the cool girl behind the ice cream counter uh because she works at an ice cream shop that's all so evelyn ends up redoing max's entire apartment while he's out um, and he's super mad about it because she folded up a bunch of really expensive collectible posters that he had and put them in a drawer and he was going to use that to like buy his spooky shop or whatever. And then she's like, it's my dead mom's birthday. And then he can't be mad anymore because her mom died. So he decides he's going to dump her, dead mother be damned. And he calls her to meet at a dog park. Calls her at work again. Guess what she's doing? She's blogging. Um, he's like, come meet me at the dog park. And she's like, what, why? And he's like, I have a surprise. And she's like, is it a puppy? And like, that's a horrible tone to set. Um, I guess he's never broken up with anyone before. And he doesn't have the experience to know any better, but it's still going to be super awkward. And then Evelyn gets hit by a bus and dies. Evelyn had about four friends and they leave her open grave unattended. Deuces of. There's a time lapse of a plant dying on the table, but the plant in the background stays alive because I guess he remembered to water that one. 
They are still at it. Y'all shut up! One of them is walking barefoot into the bar across the street. We also have a hurricane heading in this week. Welcome to Louisiana. Actually, by the time I post this, the hurricane will have hit, so... If I don't post this, you know what happened. Okay, so Max is in a depressive episode, and his brother comes by and tries to, like, cheer him up by offering for Max to go to the movies alone so that his brother can use his apartment to have sex with women. And Max says no, but he does go to the movies because that was a good idea. But he seems to be watching the same movie that he was watching at home on his couch, so I guess the editing department just, like, had one uh, film score from a horror movie, and they just, like, couldn't be bothered to find another. At the movies, the cool girl from the ice cream shop sees him and says hi. Uh, her name is Olivia. They vibe and they decide that they're gonna go on a date uh, to the cemetery because she's quirky. And they play tag right past Evelyn's grave and she rises from the dead, which is exactly what he deserves after playing tag with another woman uh, right over his girlfriend's fresh grave. Later, Evelyn shows up at his door like, what's up? And she is ready to bone. Ha, huh. she's dead. A skeleton's gonna be showing soon. Bones. So he's like, uh, why don't you shower first? Cause Olivia shows up while Evelyn's in the shower and Max gets her to leave and Evelyn comes out and then falls and breaks her neck but then snaps it back into place and he's like, you won't die. And she's like, we said we'd be together forever. The devil thing worked. Cause Evelyn just knows like, there's no confusion on her part. She's just here to give us all the exposition that we need. He's trying to escape, and Evelyn's like, let me smash. Back at the spooky shop, he tries to find the devil, but ends up breaking it. He's amazing. Then he finds a spell book, and, like, there's a problem-solving montage, but nothing works, because he's inept. So now Evelyn's goal is to kill Max so that they can be zombies together forever, because for some reason, she's still into him. He gets her drunk, so she'll forget about wanting to kill him. It's a temporary solution, but... We're doing what we can under the circumstances of being an idiot. Olivia keeps trying to spend time with him while he's trying to kill Evelyn while Evelyn is decomposing. He talks to his brother and the brother gives Max a machete and he decides he's gonna decapitate Evelyn but then chickens out. So the brother's gonna do him a solid and kill Evelyn for him while Max goes out on a date with Olivia. For some reason, part of the brother's plan is to watch vor porn in Max and uh, Evelyn's apartment. Uh... And then when someone in the movie smashes someone else's head open, Evelyn sees the brains and is like, oh damn, I could go for some brains, and then she eats the brother. This should be a comedy, right? Like, it's supposed to be funny. It's not at all. It's not scary either. It's just, like, a little gross. I don't know what they're going for. So Max comes back and sees that his brother's dead and just, like, casually locks Evelyn in the bathroom with a dresser and runs away. And he leaves his cell phone, which Evelyn, like, busts down the door of the bathroom immediately because she's a super strong zombie. She sees the cell phone and she sees texts from Olivia and she's like, I'm gonna eat her. And then Max and Olivia end up fighting Evelyn and they just keep ripping out parts of her hair with the skin still attached and it's grody. That's when I stopped watching The Walking Dead. Like, the repetitive plot and the complete lack of character development other than the prolonged shots of people looking settled in their despair and Carl being in it. All the things wrong with The Walking Dead whenever the governor is brushing the little girl's hair and it rips the skin off. I can't do it. I don't like that. Anyway, they just keep doing that in this movie. It's horrible. So Travis comes back and kills Evelyn because he's a zombie. And then they bury Evelyn, but Travis gets to stay alive as a zombie. Why does he get to do that? Whenever they all decided that Evelyn had to be like put down for the sake of humanity and the safety of others. But Travis, who was already a horrible person, is now a zombie. And Evelyn, who was just trying to make the world a better place and then becomes a zombie, she's too much of a wild card and she must be put down. Travis is fine though whatever so olivia owns a space next to her ice cream store and she rents it out to max for his spooky shop and then he doesn't pay rent because he used the money to buy an engagement ring which is a wonderful beginning to a very stable romantic and financial relationship between the two of them to add insult to injury this is the last scene hey baby you ever bang a zombie once you go on dead it's never been better in bed just saying ah! I looked it up and this movie is categorized as horror slash comedy. I guess it's a free country and we can just say stuff. 
Thanks to my patrons for sponsoring this video, Micah is the tiniest little baby dude, and he's a writer and a photographer and the cutest little bud. Follow him on Instagram at klassic.photography and tell him that I love him. Catherine Streeter, more like Catherine Street team member of the week. Catherine's Twitter is the funniest thing, and her Instagram stories are like really good for relatable mom jokes. Um, I don't have kids, and I still relate to them, so check her out. Thanks for watching. I make videos every Thursday. Hopefully the people that are still yelling outside slash the hurricane on its way do not kill me. It might make my book worth more if I die. Go pre-order my book, just in case. Somebody else is coming from across the street, guys. Oh. I just want to film a video, like, one time without this happening. Somebody slept with somebody's husband. I'm gonna go make sure I don't need to call the police. Hold on. See you later.